Hi, I'm Dr. Mac Adkins, Chief Academic Officer for Smarter Services. Thank you for taking a look at this resource about using the Smarter Measure Learning Readiness Indicator as an element of your school's quality enhancement plan. If you're checking out this blog post, you likely know what a QEP is. But just in case you do not, QEP stands for Quality Enhancement Plan. It's a requirement for reaffirmation of accreditation by the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools, otherwise known as SACS. If your school has a different regional accrediting body, they too may require a project similar to the QEP discussed in this post. Basically, a QEP, as the name implies, is a project through which your school identifies a part of their student experience which could be improved. Then the school articulates a plan and conducts the project to improve the quality of their program. SACS requires that the QEP be a key issue that was identified by institutional assessment and that the issue focuses on learning outcomes or learning environment. The institution must have the capability to conduct the project, utilizing multiple departments or persons. Finally, a plan for assessing the effectiveness of the project must be articulated. Implementing the Smarter Measure Learning Readiness Indicator is a great fit for a QEP for the following reasons. Schools frequently identify the issue of learner readiness as a key issue that impacts learner performance and retention. The process of measuring and improving learner readiness is a project that improves the learning environment. Implementing the assessment is a doable project and can involve several departments such as e-learning, instructional design, new student orientation, first year experience, advising, and more. Finally, the metrics we provide with Smarter Measure are strong evidence of the efficacy of the assessment as a part of the project. Over the past two decades, several institutions have utilized the Smarter Measure Learning Readiness Indicator as an element in their QEP. A recent survey of schools that use Smarter Measure found that 12% of responding institutions reported using Smarter Measure in their QEP. As you can see in this graphic, other popular places where the assessment is positioned include orientation courses, as an assignment in an academic course, in the admissions process, on the school's website, and in a first year experience program. Some of the schools that have integrated Smarter Measure into their QEP include those whose logos appear on this slide. These are only a few of the ones that we are aware of, as schools are not required to report back to us if they use Smarter Measure in their QEP. Schools are at liberty to position and utilize the assessment as they consider best for their school and its students. However, some schools have made us aware of not only the fact that they've used Smarter Measure in their QEP, but of the results of those projects. If you're considering utilizing Smarter Measure in your QEP, you may find it useful to review some of these reports. We are providing the full URL of the resource in case you are not able to click on the link in this presentation. It may be that the verbiage in some of these reports can be useful to you as you craft your quality enhancement plan. To save you the time of reading all of these reports, here are some of the highlights of the findings. Reynolds Community College conducted a longitudinal study over six semesters and concluded that academic success was strongly correlated with life factors and personal attributes. It was common among learners who were above target in five or more attributes and among learners who exceeded the college-wide average for all online students. Southern University of New Orleans focused not only on the readiness of students, but of faculty and the institution as well. 
Increasing a student's level of readiness was connected to their ability to learn better in an online learning environment. Maryland Community College positioned Smarter Measure in their distance learning orientation. They used the scores to determine which students needed to further support to enroll in online courses. Tallahassee Community College determined that many of their students could benefit from additional technical knowledge. These students were referred to the Learning Commons for additional computer training or skills refreshing. Columbus Technical College identified computer literacy as a critical need among its students. They utilized Smarter Measure for all entry-level students to gauge their level of computer literacy. Students scoring below a 60% were directed to a remedial course. Valencia College recognized that on their own, students were not equipped to adequately be aware of their level of preparedness for online learning nor how to properly use a learning management system. Smarter Measure was utilized as a tool to foster higher levels of learner awareness. Asheville Buncombe Community College proposed via their QEP that student success in online courses was linked to three scales measured by the assessment, technical knowledge, life factors, and personal attributes. Del Mar College also used their QEP to determine that learners who are on academic suspension should take Smarter Measure to help them identify their non-cognitive attributes that could be impacting their struggle. Advisors were required to have a conversation with these at-risk students about their assessment scores. The QEP of the University of New England was referenced in the dissertation of Dr. Kelly Watt. Smarter Measure was positioned within an online orientation course. While she did not find their participation in the course had a statistically significant relationship with grades nor completion rates, she did determine multiple positive aspects of learner participation in an online orientation. Her recommendation was that Smarter Measure scores should be used to determine which students should be required to participate in online orientations. I trust that this overview of the variety of ways that other schools have utilized Smarter Measure in their quality enhancement plan has given you some ideas of projects that could be applicable at your institution. As you're crafting your QEP at your school, please consider me a resource. Not only have I worked with dozens of schools who've used Smarter Measure in their QEP, but across my academic career, I've served as a dean at two different institutions, during which time I survived an initial SACS accreditation process, as well as two reaffirmation visits. I would enjoy having a conversation with you about your QEP. Let me know how I can help.